Hi everybody, my name is Mariana Abade McDougall. I run a personal multi-niche blog at MarianaMcDougall.com, but my real job is freelance writing and I also offer editing and coaching services. You can find those services at DreamsIntoGoalsWriting.com. But what I really want to do is show you how freelance writing can help you become location independent. I help other writers at MultitalentedWriters.com, particularly writers who don't necessarily want to write about just one thing. I write about many things, I also edit many things, and I also provide coaching for writers who want to do several different types of things, but mostly freelance writing in different categories. I am a nomad at heart. <laughs> I was born and raised in Brazil, I lived in Chicago for four years, and then I immigrated to Canada back in 2000. I've spent the majority of my life outside of my home country. I probably speak better English than I do my native Portuguese, although I am fluent in both languages. I love to travel, and I have chosen a lifestyle that allows me to do so. I am not only a freelance writer who also provides editing and coaching services, I'm also a mom of three children ages seven, five, and three whom I homeschool. Homeschooling, in addition to free freelance writing, has provided me the freedom to pack up and go anytime I want to. Now, I always want to be transparent with everyone I work with, and I want to let you know I am a part-time worker. Do I make a living out of my writing? No, but I choose not to. I choose to work part-time so I can homeschool my children and have that time with them while they're young, which I'm never going to get again. Could I make a living out of my writing if that was my goal? Definitely. I make enough as a part-time writer that if I were to work full-time, I would make more than I need to support my family. But that's not where I am with my family life at the moment. Maybe that's where you are. And even though I've chosen to work part-time, I know how to get to the point where you can actually live off of your writing. Here's the thing. I started freelance writing for fun back in 2015. Got published right away in the multi-author uh, site on my first try. And um, after that, uh, about a year after, my grandfather became very ill. That was back in 2016. And I thought to myself, I need to go down and see him. Tickets from Canada to Canada to Brazil are very expensive and I thought to myself if I work really hard with my writing I can make enough money to purchase a ticket and working less than 10 hours a week I was able to make enough in less than two months to purchase my ticket and go down to Brazil not only purchase my ticket but also I was able to spend some time at the beach and have a little mini vacation to myself after I visit visited my grandfather and that was working less than 10 hours a week which is no small feat well uh, fast forward to 2017, I continue to write and edit online and I take on whatever assignments I want to. If I need a little more money this month, if I want to do something fun with my kids, then I take on a few more assignments. If I'm like, okay, you know what, I just want to hang out for a little while, that's what I do. Choosing to do freelance writing has opened the door to for me to be able to choose how, where, and when I want to work. And I want to share that joy and that freedom with you. That's why I'm here. I'm also a big time traveler. I love to travel. In addition to all these moves, I've also done some fun traveling stuff. Before I had children, I did a super cool tour of North America with my husband. We, If you picture North America without Mexico, we basically did the perimeter. We took a car, we drove all the way out to Vancouver, all the way down to Florida, all the way up, excuse me, all the way down to San Francisco, all the way across to Florida, all the way up to Newfoundland, and then back to Ontario again in two months time. It was an insane adventure and it was wonderful. And then after we had kids, we didn't do a trip that big, but we did something a little crazier in a lot of people's eyes. We packed everybody on bikes and we biked from Kingston, Ontario, where I live, all the way to London, Ontario, which is about a 400 mile journey or 557 kilometers with our kids who were six, four and two at a time. And it was an amazing adventure, which you can read about at MarianaMcDougall.com on their cycle touring with kids. I was able to just pack up and leave because I didn't have a boss to ask permission from. We just went. It was wonderful. If you want that kind of freedom to be able to just pack up and go, freelance writing is a wonderful job to take on. 
and you can be your own boss and decide on how and when you want to work and it's the type of work that you can start very part-time and grow from there. I hope that I can help you a little bit in reaching that kind of freedom. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can find me at mariannamcdougall.com or better yet at multitalentedwriters.com where I help writers who want to write in multiple niches to create successful, sustainable businesses that honor their multi-talented personalities. Thanks for watching.